Hi guys, today we're going to make a duct tape flower bow and uh, this version is going to show you, I've seen some out there where you have to use an X-Acto knife and um, I want to show a version that, you know, parents and kids can work with together with uh, kids' uh, scissors. However, always, 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 when, kids, when you uh, are working with scissors, make sure you have a parent present and parents, make sure you are present when kids are working with scissors. So, for this, you can get... Um, you know, any ring, you can get one at one of those, like, gumball machines. So, here's another one. An old ring that I found that has, like, a good like plastic thing on top. And I'm just going to take that off. And we can wrap around that one as well. There you go. For this one, I took uh, an old ring I'm not using anymore and just took little strips and wrapped the duct tape around it like that. So it's covered with a color you like. You can also make it without a ring, just wrap some duct tape around. Make sure that the ring is bigger than your finger before you wrap it around. Uh, that way, once you add the duct tape, it gets a little difficult to get on your finger. So. Make sure it's the right size. Now what I'm going to do is take another little strip, just like this, across. And on the top of the ring, we're going to put it through like this. And this will be the center of your rose. I'm going to kind of smoosh it together so you have a little bit of a, a point just like that. So that's how you start your ring right there. It's wrapped and then you have the center point where you can wrap around for your ring and kind of twist it a little bit. There you have the center of your rose. Now I've come up with a little creative way where we can cut your petals without having to use an X-Acto knife. I've opened it up just like this and for your ring, you're going to take one edge, and this is your center right here, so kind of know that I'm going to put like this so you know that that's your center, and push it into the middle with a little room left over there in the middle. A little bit of the sticky side still showing. Same over here. Okay, so see how you have this is showing. Now I'm going to take my scissors and cut a little below that on the sticky side. Just like that. With that, you now have two petals. You're gonna cut down the middle right here. We're gonna take it since you've got a sticky side and bring it over like that. So whatever side you're on, you want to leave the big sticky side open and put it down that way so you have the big sticky side on the bottom. So you take this, like So, again, the sticky side's that way, so you turn it this way. And turn it that way. There you go. You want that sticky side to be showing on the bottom. That's really what's going to attach to your ring and make your petals. We're going to do the same over here. I'm going to make sure you've got some sticky side showing. 
to create that, that point right there. So what I'm going to do is make anywhere from 15 to 30 of these and we're going to start putting it around your ring right here. The, see that sticky part we were talking about? Put it right here. You want to wrap it. There's your first one. That's your inside of your rose. Now we take our second one and you want to make sure that you don't put your point right there. You want your point to be in a different location. And then wrap around your second petal just like that. And push it in the bottom so it gets kind of stuck on there. And we're going to keep doing this all the way around till you have your full ring. Again, so see how I have the points there? I want my point to be kind of right there. In a different spot, so. Okay. Here's another one. Make sure that the point's kind of in a different location. And just keep doing this until you have your rose ring. And what I did was I pre-cut all of my petals ahead of time and laid them out. So it just went really easy and really fast. Okay, so now, now that I've put about 30 of them on, it's time to kind of do your finishing touches. I'm going to take a little piece right here and kind of secure it over here. Try to tighten it over there. That way it's really on that ring really good. So there you go. There you have your duct tape rose ring. We'd love you to subscribe. We make a lot of uh, craft ideas, rainbow loom, and now we're doing duct tape stuff as well. Just click on the top left corner on your screen. Give us a like. Give us a, a thumbs up. And uh, comment below. Tell us some things you'd like us to make in the future. Thanks so much for watching.